Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this lesson video, I will be solving problems involving the concept of ideal gas law. So join me for the next few minutes and learn something new in chemistry. I am your teacher, Sir Mark Laroya. The formula of our ideal gas law or the ideal gas equation is PV equals nRT, where P is the pressure of the gas, V is the volume of the gas, small n is for the number of moles of the gas, T is for the temperature of the gas, and our R here is the ideal gas constant. We usually use the following units of pressure in terms of atmosphere, millimeter mercury, Thor, PSI, or Pascal. And for volume, we sometimes use the units liters, cubic meter, cubic centimeter, and even sometimes milliliter. And these are the different ideal gas constant. So we may use R is equal to 0 0.08205 liter atmosphere for Kelvin mole or 82.05 cubic centimeter atmosphere per Kelvin mole or it could also be 62.36 if our unit for this ideal gas constant is liter millimeter mercury over Kelvin mole or 8.314 if the unit will be cubic meter Pascal per Kelvin mole. So let us now solve problems involving the ideal gas law. At what pressure will 0.72 mole of nitrogen gas occupy a volume of 12.5 liters at 80 degrees Celsius? So we are asked to solve for the pressure of the gas. The given are the number of moles of the gas, which is equal to 0.72 moles, the volume it occupies is 12.5 liters and the temperature is 80 degrees Celsius. Every time that we're going to use the temperature in our solution, we must first convert our temperature in terms of absolute temperature. So we simply add 273.15 to our given temperature in Celsius scale. So that is equal to 353.15 Kelvin. And since we are using moles, liters, and Kelvin, and we are asked for the pressure, we can actually use the value for R equal to 0 0.08205 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin. So from the formula PB and RT, we can derive the formula for pressure equal to NRT over V. So, substituting the values we have now, the pressure of the gas will be equal to 0 0.72 moles times the R, 0 0.08205 liter atmosphere mole Kelvin times the absolute temperature of 353.15 Kelvin all over the volume 12.5 liters. As you can see here, the units of moles, liters, and Kelvin will be cancelled out, leaving us with the unit of atmosphere for our unknown pressure. And solving this, our pressure now will be equal to 1.67 atmosphere. Next problem, determine the volume of the container fully occupied by 250 grams of carbon dioxide at 40 degrees Celsius and 3.5 atmosphere. In this problem, we were given the mass of our gas behaving ideally the carbon dioxide with a mass of 250 grams. And then, the temperature is 40 degrees Celsius and that is equivalent to 313.15 Kelvin. Now that is our absolute temperature. 
and the pressure of the gas is 3.5 atmosphere. First, we must determine the number of moles of our gas carbon dioxide. To solve for the number of moles, we must first identify the molecular weight of carbon dioxide. Since carbon dioxide is CO2, that means 1 carbon and 2 oxygen, the molecular weight now for carbon dioxide will be 44 grams per mole. So, dividing 250 by 44 grams per mole, the number of moles for carbon dioxide will be equal to 5.68 moles. That is the number of moles that we will use in solving for the volume of the gas. Coming from the formula PV equals NRT, we can derive the formula for our volume and that is now V equals NRT all over pressure. So, substituting the values, we have the number of moles of our carbon dioxide, 5.68 moles, multiplied by our R, 0 0.08205 times the absolute temperature 313 Kelvin and then all over 3.5 atmosphere. The unit of moles, Kelvin and atmosphere will be cancelled out leaving us with the unit of liters and the volume of the carbon dioxide will be 41.70 liters. And for our last problem, we have determine the temperature of an ideal gas of 1 mole occupying a volume of 17.5 liters at a pressure of 1,000 millimeter mercury. So, the given R, the number of moles of our ideal gas, which is 1 mole, the volume is 17.5 liters, and the given pressure is in terms of millimeter mercury, equal to 1,000 millimeter mercury. In solving our temperature, we must first identify which among the ideal gas constants should we use. Take note that we are using moles, liters for our volume, and the pressure is in terms of millimeter mercury. So, by looking at the units of our ideal gas constant, the R, which is equivalent to 62.36 with the unit of liter millimeter mercury over mole Kelvin, will be the appropriate R to use to our solution in solving for the temperature of the ideal gas. Deriving the temperature of our gas will be PV over NR and what we will get here is simply just the absolute temperature so we subtract it by 273.15 to convert the absolute temperature going back to degrees Celsius. So substituting the values we will have the pressure of 1000 millimeter mercury multiplied by the volume 17.5 liters all over the product of 1 mole times the R 62.36 liter mercury mole Kelvin. So as you can see here, the unit of moles will be cancelled out as well as the millimeter mercury and lastly the liters, leaving us with the unit of K which is in terms of absolute temperature. So whatever we get here is in terms of absolute temperature and then we will subtract it with 200 73.15 and now we will get a value of 7.48 degree Celsius. The unit is already in degree Celsius. So thank you very much for watching the video. If you find this lesson video helpful, please like and share this video to your friends and classmates. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sir Mark Laroya. See you again next time and God bless.